Hello and welcome to a new video of Appelbaum.com. My name is Joost Appelbaum and in this video I would like to tell something about the Pilot Justus 95 fountain pens. As always, if this video helps you, leave us a like and if you're interested in these beautiful writing instruments, visit our store in Lado or order them online in our web store at Appelbaum.com. We will talk later about the box the pen comes in, the features of the pen the filling mechanism, we will also talk about the nib which is quite special on this edition. We will give you a comparison and some specs at the end. But first we start with the history of this model. Pilot is in the business for a long time, but only since a few weeks we carry the brand. Pilot is a Japanese brand founded by Ryosuke Namiki and Masa Owada in 1918 under the name of the Namiki Manufacturing Company. In 1938 they changed the name to the Pilot Pen Company. The number behind the name Justice is based on the year of introduction from the foundation year. So if Pilot was founded in 1918 and this model is called the Justice 95, we can say that the Justice 95 was introduced in 2013. The Justice 95 is a fountain pen with a lot of options. This is a grill pen for many fountain pen collectors. Maybe it is also your grill pen, but you didn't know it yet. The Pilot Justice 95 fountain pens come in an attractive presentation gift box made of black carton. At the top of the box you can find the words Justice and the Pilot logo in black high gloss. When we remove the lid we find the pen resting in black foam. Noticeable is that the pen is uncapped, so you can notice the main feature of this pen immediately the nib. If you remove the foam, you can find the warranty cards and the spare ink cartridge. The pen is made of resin and the barrel and cap feature a very nice classic looking engraved pattern. The resin is very well built and feels very solid. The pattern is fairly subtle, you can only notice it when you look closer. Besides the pattern is quite appealing and gives the Justice 95 a kind of retro feeling it also gives extra grip and it feels nice. The Justice 95 come in every color you want as long as it is black. If you want multiple nib sizes you can distinguish the pens by the detail colors because you can get it with either a gold plated trim or a rhodium plated trim. The fountain pen is quite large. In length it is similar to the M1000 of Pelican or the Mont Blanc 149. Although the length is similar, the diameter of the pen is much smaller and therefore better in daily use. The cap has flattened ends. The flat finial at the top of the pen helps to keep the clip in place. The clip has a more or less triangular shape with a clip ball at the end. This ball helps to clip the pen to a pocket or piece of paper. Besides the cap band, the pen doesn't have a lot of decorations. The cap band exists out of one thin band and one thick band. The thicker band has the words Justice 95 and Pilot Japan stamp. The Justice 95 has a screw cap which unscrews with a 360 degrees twist to reveal a decent grip section. The grip section is the heaviest part of the pen which helps to keep the balance of the pen at the front part. On the grip section we notice the letters H and S. More about that later in the video. The threads are not that deep so you can hold a pen up there as well. The Justice 95 is not a fountain pen that you will buy for the looks. Although it doesn't look ugly at all, you will buy this pen because of the nib. The nib is always the main feature of every fountain pen but with this model it's extra special. Extra special is this nib because we're here talking about an innovative adjustable 14 karat gold nib. Pilot is able to create such a special nib because they are one of the few companies left that produce the nibs themselves. What do we mean with adjustable nib? Well, with this unique fountain pen it is possible to change the softness of the nib by a simple twist. If you look closely we notice an H and an S on the grip section. The more we turn the ring in the grip section to the H, the stiffer the nib will be. Wow, if we twist the ring more to the S, the nib will write softer and bounce more. Depending on the way you twist the ring, the small clip-like P 
piece of metal on top of the nib will either extend or retract into the section. When in extended position, it pushes down on the tines of the nib, giving it a bit more rigidity. Another side issue with making the nib softer is that the nib will become wetter and the lines white will be slightly wider. Please know that this nib is not a flex nib. So once again, it is not a flex nib. Well, of course you can make it a flex nib because you can make every fountain pen nib a flex nib, but after that it won't flex back and you just have a bad nib. So once again, this fountain pen is not a flex nib. Please don't use it as a flex nib. The Justice 95 is available in either a fine or a medium nib. The fountain pen comes with a Pilot Con 70 converter, a unique converter and maybe the best converter in the world. It holds 1.23 milliliters of ink supply while uniquely combining the characteristics of a vacuum filling and push button converter. Another great feature of this converter is that little sting hanging in the middle. This helps keeping the ink flow from the converter to the nib and prevent that ink is getting stuck. If you don't like to use bottled ink, you can also use the proprietary Pilot ink cartridges which carries 1.03 milliliters of ink. There's even one included. But always remember, using bottled ink is more economical and environmental friendly. So, if you want to make the world a better place, use bottled ink. The material that is used for the pen makes it a lightweighted pen. It weighs 26 grams overall and 16 grams uncapped. The pen can be posted but also unposted. The pen has a perfect balance and is comfortable to write with. Here you see a lineup of some pens which have a comparable size. From left to right you see the Pilot Heritage, the Pilot Capless, the Pilot Custom, the Pilot Justice, the Platinum Century, the Lamy 2000 and the Visconti Rembrandt. Also uncapped you clearly see the differences between these pens. And here you see the pens posted. This was our overview of the Pilot Justice 95 collection. If you're interested in this collection, after watching the video, you're welcome to make your purchase in our web store. Let us know what you think of the Justice and share your thoughts and special moments using the Pilot in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.